Welcome back to Further Off-Road. We wanted to put together a quick video detailing all the changes we've made to Pete, our 2015 Tacoma, since we bought him in 2017. Our first necessary improvement was to add a lift so we could get some bigger tires under the truck. We went with an Icon Stage 3 kit with extended travel coilovers in the front, tubular uniball upper control arms to maintain alignment geometry, and extended travel rear shocks with remote reservoirs. In this shot, you can also see the rubber splash guards that we bought to replace the flimsy stock guards that were falling apart. Along with the Icon shocks, we spec'd Old Man Emu medium duty leaf springs for the rear of the truck. After the lift was installed, we purchased new wheels and tires. We went with a set of Cooper Discover ST Max tires in about a 33 inch size. These have proven to be very tough and as you can see have taken a lot of abuse. In order to prevent rubbing on the frame with these size tires installed, you have to do what's called a cab mount chop. About a half inch of metal is removed from the cab mount and new steel plates are welded over the cut. But as you can see, we're still occasionally rubbing some plastic in the fender well. Here's a shot of the rear axle. You can clearly see that we've de-arched the old man emu leaf springs, even after installing an extra leaf to make them heavy duty packs. We'll be upgrading these very soon to handle the almost 1,000 pounds we carry in the bed on extended trips. One item that has improved our comfort quite a bit off-road has been the addition of timber and bump stops in the rear. These really minimize the impact of big ruts and potholes that you sometimes miss before it's too late. On the other side of the axle, you can see the red extended brake lines that allow for more down travel. A recent modification has been the installation of a new exhaust crossover pipe relocating the low-hanging stock pipe to a higher location behind the transfer case. While we were at it, we replaced the stock muffler with a smaller and much better sounding MagnaFlow unit. With the suspension sorted out, we focused on armoring up the truck. Besides looking cool, it's insurance for major trail damage that we would surely get on the tight and rocky tracks we explore here in the southwest. Anyone with any real experience off-road will tell you, a set of quality steel rock sliders should always be the first bit of armor you purchase for your rig. These bolt-on sliders from Avid Off-Road in Phoenix have saved our rocker panels on many occasions. Our next investment in Pete was a solid set of steel undies, skid plates to protect the differential, transmission, and transfer case. These plates from RCI Off-Road have taken some serious abuse and are still in great shape. For the front and rear of the truck, we went with CBI Off-Road's high clearance bumpers due to their solid reputation and build quality, but because of the one inch body lift we installed to eliminate as much rubbing as possible from the tires, installation of the front bumper became a bit more than a simple bolt-on. Some cutting on the steel bumper brackets and fabrication of new mounts meant leaning on a friend with some serious welding skills. Once the front bumper was fitted up, it was time to throw in all the fun accessories. Pete's got a worn 10,000 pound winch mounted up as further insurance from getting stuck in the backcountry. We replaced the stock fog lights with LEDs and added some 5 inch Hella LED spotlights for finding camp after the sun sets. The rear bumper has been a real game changer for us. The extra clearance has eliminated all the hitch dragging we experienced before and the spare carrier and fuel can carrier options have given us back some much needed space under and inside the bed. The bumper did require cutting the bedsides behind the rear wheels, which was a little unnerving. But after using the bumper for the last year though, we've realized that this was a small price to pay for so much functionality. The fold-down table also provides the perfect place to fire up the camp stove close to all of our food and supplies. Above the bed, we needed a place to mount our Tapui tent. Again, we chose CBI for their Overland bed rack. Not only is it the perfect height, but it provides plenty of options for tie-downs and accessory mounting. We incorporated quick fists to mount our shovel and a few simple L-brackets here to mount our awning. On the passenger side, I reused some old Thule load bars from a rack that once resided on Ruta's Trooper. 
They made the perfect rails on which to mount some Max Tracks pins to hold our recovery boards. Thanks to all the existing holes in the bed rack, no drilling was required. Of all the improvements we've made to this vehicle, the most impactful in terms of extending our trips has been the installation of a dual battery system. Our primary load on these trips is our 50 quart ARB fridge. Prior to the new setup, we used a Goal Zero Yeti 400 lithium power station to keep this running, but it never seemed to work as well as promised. We suffered some food spoilage a few times, which forced us to come home early. Never a recipe for happy campers. This kit from Off Grid Engineering comes with a Red Arc DC to DC charger, which feeds power to the second battery while you drive, and can also accept solar power when you're parked. Brilliant for overlanders constantly on the move. Battery number two in the system is an Odyssey Extreme Group 35 unit that just barely fits on the passenger fender in front of the firewall. So far, it's provided more than enough power for the fridge on multiple 10-day trips charging as we go. Power flows from this battery through a dedicated 100 amp breaker and into a small six circuit fuse panel. Right now we're only using the fridge circuit, but soon we'll have other loads to provide for. This fuse panel mount from Overland Expeditions conveniently had enough space to attach an Anderson port for our 100 watt solar panel to plug in should we need any extra charging. That about wraps it up for the current additions to the truck but we've got big plans for Pete in the coming year. So stay tuned for more updates on the build and feel free to let us know if you have any questions or comments on any of these modifications.